What's going on guys, Black Scout Survival, and today I've got a knife review for you. And this is a knife from, a custom knife from Chase Wilder at Wilder Forge. And this knife has got a six inch long blade with a five and a half inch cutting length. It's uh, three sixteenths of an inch thick. It was forged from 1095 steel. And it has a nice mirror finish on the edge and has walnut handles with stainless steel pins, has a 550 cord lanyard with an old 45 ACP uh, copper jacketed projectile, which is really cool. Has a guard here and a little bit of a, a, a chull there. But uh, Chase uh, is uh, only 18 years old, which is kind of mind blowing because it's very good work. Uh, but he said he had been uh, working uh, knives for five years. So he's got five years experience there. And I mean, this is a phenomenal looking blade, man. I, I, I'm telling you, I'm impressed. He does it in the old methods, which is even more impressive. There's, you know, not many uh, modern tools he's using. He's doing it like they did in the, the old days, which is very impressive. Nice, very, very sharp. Uh, looks very cool, that old look. The handle feels good, you know, and you got enough handle to uh, actually grab a hold of. You know, I got pretty large hands, so I got enough handle to actually grab a hold of. I do like the bigger blade. Now, he does make a lot of different styles. I think he makes like Puko styles, uh, you know, Finnish type, Scandinavian type knives, the smaller ones and stuff like that. But I uh, asked to get a, you know, larger type Bowie uh, type knife uh, from him uh, because that's the type of knives that I like. So the spine is also sharp. Uh, so it will strike ferrocium rod. And I have not tried it, but I'm pretty sure it does. Uh, will work hitting flint and steel because it's a uh, 1095 high carbon steel. So anyhow, like I said, beautiful knife, great work uh, from him. Uh, he's got a lot of other knives over there that I may be uh, wanting to check out. Some, some of the smaller knives, I, I did see some I did like, like the Puko style. So uh, anyhow, definitely go check them out. His knives are affordable too, especially, you know, uh, making them by hand they're really affordable and good quality knives really balanced as you've seen you know throwing it in the tree very uh, balanced uh, knife as well to be doing you know working by hand I've had a lot more expensive knives custom you know $500 knives that weren't balanced so great work uh, great knives over there so definitely go check them out put his link in the description box below make sure you subscribe to our channel because we put out a few new videos every week and as always thanks for watching